Rockport Music is dedicated to fostering an appreciation of music through accessible programs for people of all ages. We would like to thank our corporate partners for their continued support in making this happen. Thank you so much for tuning into our program. My name is Ungi Cho, and we are the Rasa String Quartet. We've been playing together for almost two years now, and we're based in Boston, Massachusetts. We're absolutely thrilled to be bringing you such an incredible program for Rockport music in such an incredibly beautiful space. We open our program with two classical style works. The first written by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who many of you may know, and the second is written by Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de Saint Georges, who many of you may not know. Uh, the first piece by Mozart is a divertimento, and the slow movement of this is possibly some of the most beautiful music ever written. And our first violinist for the piece, Mora, will be going all over her instrument because it's a very virtuosic solo piece. The second piece written by Joseph Bologna is maybe a piece that you have not heard. We're not surprised, but there's really no good reason for this piece not to be in the classical tradition because it's an incredibly touching piece, incredibly beautiful, very virtuosic for all, all musicians involved. And it's really a piece that deserves to be in the classical music canon. So we hope you enjoy this pairing of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's Divertimento and Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de Saint Georges, Concertante Quartet, number no. six in B flat major.
Hi, my name is Claudia. I am the violist of the Rasa String Quartet. And now we are going to play two different pieces by Jose Lizondo, a Boston based composer who grew up in Mexico. The first one is Ferial, which means a place where festivals and celebration happen. In this piece, we have two contrasting themes. The first one is like the sound of the street parades, and the second one is a waltz. The second piece, the name is Teotlayi, which means in Aztec language, the land of the gods. The main theme is a symphonic version of a mariachi band. So you could listen that the violins play like the trumpet melody in a mariachi band, the viola will be like the guitar and the cello will be like the guitarron in a mariachi band. After listening to this excerpt, I just want to add that Jose Lizondo, the composer, provides a colorful palette of musical expression for us. Such a mysterious, festive, reverent, and I can't wait to share these colors with you. I really hope you can enjoy this music.
Mora, and I play violin with the Rasa String Quartet. The next piece we'll be playing is called Old Rhinelander from Sondala. This piece features a Norwegian traditional fiddle tune, which I'll demonstrate a little bit of before we start this piece. And it kind of marries this tradition of Norwegian fiddle tunes with elements from the rock music tradition. So you might hear in the beginning of this piece kind of a, a rock groove that the cellist and the violist will be kind of starting. And then you may also hear a little bit later on in the piece some elements where several instruments are kind of imitating electric guitar sounds or other uh, elements from rock music. This piece was arranged by the Danish String Quartet and we are happy to be playing it for you. Hope you enjoy.
My name is Kiyoshi Hayashi, and I'm a violinist in Rasa String Quartet. And our last two tunes for you today are from two contemporary female powerhouse composers who take very different approaches to composing for the contemporary string quartet. The first piece that we'll be playing for you is Valencia by Caroline Shaw. And Caroline Shaw is this, I think, incredibly versatile artist. She has composed for people like Brooklyn Rider and Seattle Symphony, has produced for Kanye West and Nas, and is sang with people like Sarah Bareilles and Ben Folds. So been around the block of the music world. And her piece Valencia is very textural in nature. And so not actually a lot of melodies um, involved in the piece. And what she does is by using different extended techniques like harmonics and left hand pizzicato, she takes all of these fragments and when they're combined with all of the instruments, it creates this really beautiful, atmospheric and intricate vibe of the piece. And kind of a thing that we've been dealing with as, as we've been putting this piece together is how to really sound like a unified voice or a homophonic voice. And so we've been really, really working a lot on balancing bow speed and sound and phrasing and color so that we really sound as one together. The second piece that we'll be playing for you is Pannonia Boundless by Serbian-American composer Alexandra Rebelov. And a lot of her influence for this piece came from her visits to gypsy taverns, where she heard music and sounds of the, the gypsy musicians there. And contrasting to the textural and maybe fragmented homophonic nature of Valencia, Pannonia Boundless really demonstrates the solo voices of the string quartet. And so each instrument will get a chance to play what are called cadenzas, which are just short moments where that instrument gets to improvise and to play in whatever ornaments and with whatever time that they creatively feel like in the moment. And so I hope you enjoy these two different takes to contemporary composing for the string quartet.